This is example 1.8 on page 29 of our textbook. And this is another um, unit conversion example because this is super, super important. Um, knowing how to fundamentally set these up is very important for the rest of the semester, especially when we get into stoichiometry. So here it asks us to convert 1.8 quarts to cubic centimeters, um, cm cubed. And I already have written the conversion factors that we're going to be using. Um, but if you want to double check those for yourself, I got them from table 1.2 and 1.3. So first, um, we see that quarts, that's in the English system, and centimeters, that's in the metric system. So we're going to need something to convert between the two. So if you consult table 1.3, um, the only equivalency that we have for quartz going to the metric system is that 1.057 quartz is equal to one liter or vice versa. And so from there, um, we know that, um, liter is the unit of volume and, um, cubic centimeter is also a unit for volume and cubic centimeter can be related to the liter system because we know that one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter. So if I have liters and I have an equivalency from cubic centimeters to milliliters, to relate the two, I'm going to use my prefix multipliers. So how are a milliliter and a liter related? Well, if we look at our prefixes, milli is 10 to the negative third of whatever the base unit is. In this case, our base unit is liter, because it doesn't have a prefix in front of it. So one milliliter is equal to 10 to the negative third liters. Another way you can think about it is that a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. Whatever is more comfortable for you to think about. <coughs> so now we have all the equivalencies we're going to be using. And we know our given number is 1.8 quarts. And what we're trying to find is cubic centimeters. So we're looking for cubic centimeters and we're given 1.8 quarts. So our first step is to try and get rid of that quartz. So the way I'm going to do that is by using this first equivalency. Remember what you want to cancel goes on the bottom and what you're trying to get to goes on top. So 1.057 quarts goes on the bottom, one liter goes on the top. You can't have one without the other because it's an equivalency. <clears throat> so quarts diagonal from each other, they cancel out, and now I'm in liters. So the next step I need is an equivalency with a liter in it. So that's going to be this guy right here. So I'm trying to cancel out liters, and in this case, I want to get to milliliters. So what I want to cancel goes on the bottom, and that's going to be the 10 to the negative third liters. And on top, one milliliter. So then liters cancel. And this is a three-stepper, it's a little longer than the last um, example that we did. Technically, a mil and a centimeter are the same thing, but if you want to show that mathematically, you can say one mil on the bottom, because that's what we want to cancel, is equal to one centimeter cubed. So notice everything that I don't want has canceled out and the only unit I'm left with is centimeters cubed, which is what I want over here. 
So it should work out every time that the units you don't want cancel. If that doesn't happen, then you've probably gone wrong somewhere or flipped something. It's not a big deal. Just double check yourself um, and make sure that everything cancels that you don't want. So now we can multiply across. So 1.8 times 1 is just 1.8 and it's centimeter cubed. And then on the bottom, it's going to be 1.057 times 10 to the negative third times 1 gives us, gives us 0 0.001057. And if we divide these two even further, I get 1702.9328. Typically for these, you don't have to write all the decimal places. As long as you take it to four, um, that's gonna help with your rounding. So we're not completely done. This is close to our final answer, but we still need to look at significant digits. So our problem contains 1.8 quarts. That's two significant digits. So our answer also needs to contain two significant digits. So this one could get a little tricky. We could do probably 1700 with a decimal after it. That's okay, but a better thing to do would be to convert this into scientific notation. So we take decimal, move it up two spots, we get 1.7 and we're gonna leave off the O2 because it's not significant and we moved it up, oops, not two spots, definitely more than that. One, two, three spots, so it's gonna be 1.7 times 10 to the third centimeters cubed. It's a little bit easier slash neater to write than the 1700 with a decimal at the end, or heaven forbid you forget the decimal and then it becomes ambiguous and a chemist comes and cries about it. Um, so we're just going to go scientific notation, just typically easier. So our final answer, 1.7 times 10 to the third centimeters cubed.